Hey, this isn't a live battle recording. Well, I couldn't exactly help it. Anyways, this is a match that I had when NBZ was streaming recently, and I didn't feel like opening up my recording software for some reason. Anywho, gonna get Poison Maw Toxic Orb after sporing him, and he's gonna get the first turn wake and start setting up Toxic Spikes, which I didn't expect, honestly. But uh, that's not the big deal here, because... His toxic spikes are just going to be what he does. I was figuring it was going to be a shell smash setter upper and then it would try to destroy me with the icicle spear and shard and stuff and stuff and stuff and stuff. So going to Stone Edge now to take him out because I thought he might switch. I also kind of wanted to keep my sub if possible. So he's going to go out to his slow king now and I'm going to spore it too because I do not want to come at him, bro. But I'm going to switch because I have nothing to do to it, really. And got to my Bronzong. And I'm going to set up some hazards of my own because I am a person that likes to set up hazards because it is the best thing to do in the game. It is very important to have your hazards up, especially when your opponents are hazards to your health. So Haxorus is going to start going for some Dragon Dances. I'm going to reflect, going to make myself super shiny and less prone to being attacked by stuff and being killed anyways. And thanks to his Mold Breaker, he is able to see through my levitation and hit me in the air anyways with Earthquake. And now he's going to get greedy, he's going to power up my Gyro Ball a little more, and I'm going to do a lot more damage to him now, but it's not going to kill because I'm not a Ferrothorn. Because for some reason with Therothorn, I think Ferrothorn rather, when it uses Gyro Ball, it gets like some sort of random boost from the game that is not documented by anybody. So now I'm going to go out to the finest Mamos wine, which is still some excellent wine despite the fact that I still don't like wine that much. So going to Ice Shard and kill him off. And now my Reflect is gone, so I can no longer shine. He's going to bring out a Caracosta now, which is actually a Shell Smash variant if I'm not mistaken. But he's going to Waterfall as I switch out to D-City Rock. And I'm going to start singing Anarchy and get my Dragon Dance up. He's going to Stone Edge and hit me, but thanks to the Intimidate, I'm going to live... No, I'm not. Wow, that was unexpected. So I'm going to go out to Sauce now, because who doesn't like their Teriyaki Sauce with their Terrakion? And I'm going to hit him, and he's going to hit me. And after our exchange of blows, we are now going to... Finally be shoved off the cliff we are standing on top of battling after I earthquake, knock the cliff off, and then we get blown by the wind and go through a complex passage through the tree and through the woods and everything else. And now out comes a triangle, which, uh, it's not fooling me. So I'm going to switch for some reason, because I don't know, and he's going to try and volt switch, but since he is an electrode, it's not going to work because I am a ground type, as we all know the whole type thing works in this game. Now he's going to hit in power, it's not super effective, so I don't know what type it is, because that tends to be the case with hidden powers. And I'm just going to go for Ice Shard again because I am banded if I'm not mistaken. Because banded Mammoth Swine is good, it is awesome, it is amazing, and everybody else should start using it, I think. I don't know exactly. Now I'm going to go out to Interpret because I have a feeling that it will come in useful with the entirety of its moveset. It being my Nasty Plot 1, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is. It is, in fact, my Nasty Plot 1, as I just confirmed there by using Nasty Plot. So I'm going to hope that a Grass Knot will take him out of this range. If it doesn't, then I guess I'm just going to have to die when he wakes up next turn. And, of course, it doesn't. And of course he's going to wake up, and of course he's going to scald, and of course, I'm going to die. So that was a very unproductive attempt at sweeping, but whatever. I got a lot of damage on him, and there's no way he's going to be able to come back from that. Going to go out back to the finest Mambo's wine and get an earthquake off, and that will unquestionably kill. Crit didn't matter, because he was at so low, and I am banded after all. So Triangle's going to come back out and try to rain on my parade, but I do not want him to, so I'm just going to go out to my Breloom, and he's going to Explosion, which um didn't see coming at all. But whatever, it doesn't kill me because 5th gen. Anyways, out comes an Emolga now. And he's going to roost for some reason instead of just killing me off, which is going to allow me to stone edge him 
but it's not going to be super effective thanks to the fact that he lost his flying type. So now I'm just going to go for a focus punch, but it turns out he's not going for roost this turn. So now I'm just going to go out to Mammo with wine again, and I'm going to I shard for the kill, and that is the game with this guy called Kid. I don't exactly remember what his name was, but whatever. Hope you guys enjoyed the match. I kind of did, I suppose. I don't know. It's an old team, but uh, whatever. I don't really mind. I don't actually think Gyarados is a part of the normal team that this is a part of, but whatever. Who cares? It worked. Well, actually, it didn't work as it died really quickly. Anyways, um, I'll leave you guys to whatever you want to do. But if you want any suggestions, I suggest that you close your browser right now because it's going to be destroyed by a virus. Ah!